Hi, good morning. It's fantastic to be with you again on this Friday morning. Um, I was reflecting on uh, the last six months and sometime just um, during the month of um, January before all the, the pandemic and all that situation uh, cracked in, <clears throat> I was talking to about, I think between 40 to 50 of our friends who had come to visit us uh, at our centre in North Wales. And um, we were looking at, you know, um, what sort of things help to create health generally in health and well-being. And I remember also many years ago, we used to do body, heart, mind uh, tea parties and um, going around to people's houses and that sort of thing. And um, so I was reflecting on how do I make a change in my life? And I, when I was sharing this, one thing that came to me was, yeah, the important thing is that you, first of all, you want to make a small change in your life because you, you won't be able to change easily if you don't want to change. Uh, the other thing was start small. And at that retreat that I was running, uh, I'd, uh, I was talking about pranayam and how you can use breathing exercises to help you. And for a few months, I also like was, uh, I knew that I had to make a change in my own regime. And um, so whatever I have wanted to incorporate in my life, I realized I always have to make it easy and doable because if I don't, I really get into trouble. Um, if I say, oh, you know, this is a sort of a good thing, like not only pranayama, I should do keep fit and all this sort of thing and I should take an hour over it, well, forget it, because I won't be able to fit it in my, first of all, a busy uh, lifestyle. And the other thing is, um, the, once you lose the impetus to do it, or momentum in some way, then you, you let go. So to change easily is about actually being very clear about certain things. So start small. That's one thing. Make it easy and doable. Um, and only when you start the, the activity, do it for about a few minutes. Maybe, uh, and I actually, in a few, a few days ago, somebody sent me a podcast of a, a guy called Ranjan Chatterjee. And uh, I loved his idea and I'm going to just share it because I think it is a valuable idea. And he said, oh, do things in five minutes. Um, make it into five minute snacks. And I thought, oh, that's, that makes sense because if you, people can cope with five minute snacks. Um, and then, and then uh, th there was a, a, the clarity about stick it on existing behavior. And see, every morning we get up, we have certain rituals that we do, don't we? Like, for example, we might go downstairs and put the kettle on. And whilst we are waiting for the kettle to boil, um, you could be saying, oh, you know what? I could give my body uh, a stretch in four different directions because that's where how my spine needs to be woken up sort of thing. Or I could do uh, a few, uh, I can do my EBR1, energy block release one. Um, which actually gives a, a total awakening to my, and it doesn't take long. And, and, and the interesting thing is, uh, when you stick your existing behavior, meaning that you are boiling the kettle, well, you have to wait. So you might as well do something that is constructive. So, and you say, okay, you know what? I'm going to do my, um, my stretch and uh, keep fit in that five minutes. So, um, whilst uh, you can, you, you, you can actually get into the modality of that. So the thing is, then you say, okay, for my body, I can, uh, but there are other things you can do because you might say, you know what? I've got very low energy this morning. And the, w the best thing I can do is, is, is my skiing exercise or, you know. So what I'm also saying is that when you look at body health, heart health or mind health, you have to look at where you are at in order to know whether you need to energize or you need to s slow slow down or uh, you know uh, calm calm yourself so for simplicity's sake uh, you can say stick it on an existing behavior i 
I know that I have often practiced my um, particularly uh, tranquilizing breath, like uh, alternative nostril breathing, on the loo, um, but without retention, so I don't cause any problems in my my system working for itself. <laughs> Just to give you a laugh. Um, so, body health, you could say, for five minutes I'm going to practice this. So what I have done is that when I've started my pranayam practices, I started off with 10 rounds, then I've worked up to 20 rounds, then I worked out to 30 rounds of Kapalabhati or whatever I'm doing. And so I have progressed very slowly. And if I felt that actually I can only give five minutes, I've only given five minutes to it. But what I have done, which has made it really helpful to me, is I've, I have kept it consistent. I have made a commitment to it that in that five minutes, I am going to do it no matter what. And then, uh, as they say, once you start a small uh, habit, then, and it, it works within your framework because you make it work and s stick it on a behavior that is, it's possible to do it in that time. For example, when you are doing your, uh, you know, tooth brushing or, um, or uh, you know, when you clean between the teeth, I've forgotten what, what it's called, threading or whatever it is. It's not threading actually, but you know what I'm saying. Um, then at that time, I've given my body a stretch by putting my, my foot on the on the bathtub so i think you're getting the idea of what i'm trying to say so for heart health what could you sort of uh, things you do um, sometimes you have to get into the heart and you have to see what it is that puts you into the heart and sometimes it is uh, taking yourself into a visualization where you think of somebody that you love and that in itself puts you in the heart and then if you talk to people or say, for example, when you have to meet somebody and you say, well, you know what, let me just put myself into the heart so I am sensitive to that person. So my heart health would be to make an interaction really work. So what would that mean? That would mean that actually I allow myself to come into an amazing balance and say, how would I like to be spoken to in order to speak to that person? Um, and therefore, your interactions are more meaningful, you're more appropriate and more together. So I'm actually covering a lot of things in this, just one thing of how to um, bring change easily. So simplicity is the key. So it is about what will I do for my body and what healthy snack can I give my body today? Is it to do my activations? Is it to do my breathing exercises? Is it to um, do a couple of bends in, in different directions? What should I do for my heart? Maybe, is it that I actually ring somebody up? Is it that I give to somebody? Is it that I actually um, uh, bring a balance in terms of when I speak to people, how to speak to people, so get myself in the right mode? What would I do for my mind health? Ah, is it uh, that I actually sit quietly? Um, and when I want to build up my meditation sort of practice, um, I've given myself the thing of, you know, before I go to bed, I actually do sit and reflect on my day, even for five minutes. Well, you know what? I could tag in another five minutes and just sit silently and watch my breath come in and out. And so I've ticked my meditation box. Now, the interesting thing is, the thing that brings momentum to momentum is to see that you're progressing. So always they say, uh, measure success. So, you know, uh, you might want to say, you know, I've done uh, my five minutes of my pranayam technique. I've done my five minutes of my yoga technique. And sometimes we get do get busy, don't we? Even as yogis, you don't do your own yoga, um, really. And so you have to say, okay, actually, you know what, I do need to stretch my, or I've got problems with my shoulders, I need to do that. So uh, what am I saying? Key thing is make it easy, doable, stick it on an existing behavior, and um, keep it uh, consistent. If you keep it consistent, then you can bring a behavioral change, but easily. And slowly you can build up to seven minutes, 
10 minutes and if it feels more nurturing and maybe you don't need to do more than 10 minutes because it's what you do that makes a difference and knowing where you are in order to do the appropriate thing for your body. So thank you very much for listening. Have a great day today.